Well, hello, 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 and welcome back once again, YouTube. This is Manny Gay Tora coming at you once again with another video in my indie game appreciation series. Uh, coming back at you in an unprecedentedly, unprecedentedly, God, that's a hard word to say, short amount of time since my last video uh, for Axiom Verge. I just had so much fun making that one, and as I was going through it, I was continuing to kind of draw parallels in my mind between the cool things about that game and the cool things about this game. And I know I mentioned it at the end of the previous video that this was definitely gonna, my gonna be my next video. Good god, I'm just fucking up words today. Um, and yeah, I fucking adore this game, and this is actually one of the games that thinking about it and playing it repeatedly uh, was kind of what gave me the idea to do this series, because this is probably one of the best games I have ever played in my entire life, and that is an incredible amount of praise coming from somebody who's been playing games since essentially as far back as they can remember, and that's not even an exaggeration. Some of the earliest memories I have from my young life are playing uh, the original Game Boy and uh, NES with my brothers and uh, having to sit next to a window uh, so you could get light on the Game Boy screen because they didn't have a backlight back then. And, it wasn't even black and white, it was black and green, and oh man, those were some good fucking times playing the original uh, Mario on the Game Boy, and that was a, such a strange game compared to the other Mario games at the time. Maybe I'll pull up an emulator and play that in a video at some point. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started, and uh, as I'll show you, I have played this game uh, a lot. So this is New Game Plus, this is Cleared, this is a new file that I was just playing for a sound test. Uh, this is going to be my file for the game that I'm going to have to erase. Um, I had actually started recording this before and uh, ended up having to stop and uh, start over. So, uh, yep, we're going to do a new adventure, and we're going to be Shovel Knight. Uh, Plague Knight is a completely different game mode, uh, and it's I find it to be a lot more difficult just because of the way the jumping mechanics work. Um, Maybe I'll throw a bit of that in at the end of the video, just so you guys can see what it's like, uh, and see how something as simple as just changing kind of how you jump and how you attack can change the entire way that the game works. So, we're gonna get started, and let's go. Choose this profile. Hell yes! Alright, gotta get my epic voice going. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers press start to skip, but I don't want to do that. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. Without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Dot, dot, dot. It's shoveling time! So, yeah, as you can tell, pretty much as soon as you get started, incredible retro game vibe going on here, and the game I think I'm going to be drawing the most parallels to in this video, um, and it might actually surprise some people, is Mega Man X. And the reason for that is almost entirely this first level, the tutorial level, because, um... I heavily recommend everybody go and watch the um, sequelitis video for Mega Man X uh, by Eagle Raptor. Um, it's a really fantastic video and shows a lot of really amazing things that classic video games in general and that game specifically did really well that I feel like a lot of games have lost at this point. And uh, one of the things he continues to harp on in that video and uh, one of the things that I'm going to be pointing out a lot is um, there's so many fucking tutorials now with so many of these games and it has to like like, show you, you know, it's like, oh, here's a door, press X to open door, and blah, blah, blah. And it, it just kind of holds your hand through everything rather than you letting, 
rather than letting you discover anything and figure out anything for yourself. So I'm kind of going to be detailing a lot of that as I go through this first level. And so it shows you, you know, basically the weakest enemies in the game right away, and it just gives you an opportunity to be like, okay, I'm just going to press buttons. I can see that B and X do the same thing. A is jump. Y at this point does nothing. Um, oh, I can do this. Point down with my shovel so I can go boing. And that is going to be something I touch on a lot, is how fucking bouncy this game is. It's like, oh, there's piles of dirt, and you have a shovel, and if you keep shoveling, there's more and more gems, but if... It, uh, no, I won't. Um, money is very important in this game, because it's how you buy pretty much all of your... Up yeah, all of your upgrades, actually. Um, there are a few health upgrades that you get just for progressing through the game, but I'm relatively certain every other, like, weapon, item, armor upgrade, all of those are purchased. So there's very little that this game gives you for free. And so it's just like, you know, if you hadn't figured out how to shovel down yet, you're going to have to figure that out here, because or else you can't keep going. And here's some more dirt and some more gems to reward your ingenuity. And here's just like, hey, there's a jump I can't make, but there's this bubble. Ow! But if I land on the bubble, it hurts me. Oh, but there's this thing that I just learned how to do. Oh, shit. So it's just slowly, with each screen, it's kind of teaching you a new thing that the game is going to require you to do. Like here, there's a moving platform. Clearly, if I jump now, I'm not going to make that jump. There's nothing to me for bounce off of, so I just got to wait for it. Get some gems and boing. So there you go. You learn something else new. Now it teaches you there's spikes, and this platform moves a little faster than that other one, so be careful, because if you hit those spikes, much like in Mega Man, instant death. And hey, here's a boss guy. The really funny thing is, is if I don't want to fight him, I don't have to. I can just leave, but I'm going to kill him because he gives you a lot of gems. So that introduces kind of the concept of bosses. It also dropped a little bit of health for me. And oh, here's, here's this guy. Ugh, whoa! Did I just launch a skull at him? Boom. Yeah, I did. Oh, snap. And now, this... Oh, God, I fuck... This screen is so fucking beautiful. I love it. And I don't mean graphically as much as I do love the graphic style of this game, because it's like, came down a ladder, there's no way for you to get back up to that ladder. And you're just like, what the fuck? I'm at a dead end, right? But this little bit of wall looks a little bit different than the rest of the wall, right? There's sort of a little knotted... Whoa. Whoa. Did I just fucking do that? Did I just blow up a wall with my goddamn shovel? You're fucking right I did. Jesus. All right. And now there's this. I mean, it's, it's a dead end, but this wall doesn't look any different than the other wall, but just for shits and giggles, whoa! So, this screen just taught me three incredibly important things. I'm holding up three fingers right now, even though you can't see me, because that's how serious I am about these three things. Taught you one, secret walls. Two, some secret walls are indicated by a different look, some are not. Three, enemies can be hiding in secret walls. Those are three incredibly important things that you will need to remember throughout the rest of this game. And it taught all three of those things to me in a single screen with two enemies in it. That just taught me that maybe you don't want to destroy all the destroyable stuff right away because you can use it to block enemies and keep yourself safe. That just taught me that sometimes those breakable walls are going to lead into secret areas with other shit and more money and... What the hell is that? Is that like a music sheet? It's a little parchment with a music note on it. Okay, so I collected that. It gave me... Like, it didn't give me any money. What the hell's that for? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure I'll find out something about it later. And so, once again, maybe don't want to destroy all the destroyable bricks right away, because or else I would have had no way to get that. It's like, huh, how am I going to get to that red gem? Well, I know that I can bounce. Oh! Oh! So that teaches you you can use enemies to get to places you wouldn't otherwise be able to get to. It's just, it teaches you so much on every screen. And again, wall that looked different, hiding treasures. Boosh. And so you want to make sure that you kind of destroy this top to bottom so you're not missing any gems. It's like, oh, huh, what's that thing? It looks like a fucking... I forget what the actual name for these things is. A serving dish or whatever. Oh, snap. Some chicken. And had I been missing any health, that would have refilled a significant amount of my health. God, just, uh, just doing stuff like this makes me so fucking happy in this game. The, just the bounciness of it, I love it so much. Boing, boing. 
bounce on the enemies, bounce on the ground, bounce on the fucking everything you can possibly bounce on. Because it's just fun. It's fun to be bouncy. It's like, oh, oh, I already see. So now I'm already keeping an eye out for it. Keeping an eye out for those little, like, knots in the walls. So I know that, whoa, secret area. And hey, look, bubbles. I already know I have to bounce on those. And hey, look, more bubbles. Bounce, bounce. Another one of those things. I still don't know what that is. Bounce, bounce. And bounce and bounce. Oh, yes. God damn. I'm super crazy powerful. Look at how much I bounce. Why didn't I jump? There we go. Now it's just like, hey, there's an enemy. I'm probably going to need to bounce on it. Oh, oh, geez. There was an enemy hidden in that secret wall. But I already knew that that could happen because it taught me that earlier. So it's like, hey, I don't even need you to get up to that, so I honestly don't know why that enemy is there. But then it's like, whoa, 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 wait a fucking dick minute. How the hell do I get down to that chest? Is this destroyable? No? Can't bounce on the ground. Is this destroyable? No? What the fuck? How do I get over there? Let's go to the next screen to see. I'm not going to be able to get there, because that's just a cliff. How the fuck do I get in there? Let's go back down here. Whoa! What? Holy shit! So that teaches you another important thing. Certain areas on certain screens are not going to be accessible other than from other screens. Like, holy shit, it teaches you so much right away. And essentially, by the end of this first level, you know everything you need to know to beat this entire game. And that's fucking amazing to me. I love it so much. It's like, oh, these guys are really small and they can kind of hide behind that grass. Ooh, that's that's some fucking sneaky, snacky, heart attacky shit going on right there. Waiting for the elevator. Do, 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 do. It's like, whoa, here's another dragon. Oh, shit, this one wakes up before I hit him. What a sneaky fucker. This one I could also just go past if I really wanted to. Oh, really almost dropped all those gems off that cliff. This is like, hey, what's up? So that teaches you that some enemies are really stupid and will just kill themselves if you wait for them to do it. And see, I'm already seeing that little slime guy bouncing around. It's like, whoa, that guy's kind of hidden down there. I might need to be careful. There might be more down there that I can't necessarily see. The longer I stay up here, the more of them I can see. And this is just so fucking satisfying, breaking all these. Ow, fuck. Messed that up. Boosh! And hey, look, there's another secret wall thing. But I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna get this first. Because fuck. No enemy in that one. No further secret walls. Alrighty. I'm just gonna go up here. Whoa, whoa. Ledge off to the left. Where's that going? Oh, shit. Secret area. Hell yes. Bam! Oh, look. Chest. Full of, guess what? Money. Aw, so yeah, if you couldn't tell yet, I fucking love this game. It's fucking incredible, and I love everything about it. Like, I honestly don't think I have a single bad thing to say about this entire game. I have basically zero criticism. It's probably the closest thing I've ever played to a perfect game. Oh shit, who's this guy? I need to show your face sooner or later. Cerulean coward! Turn back, Shovel Knight. Nothing here for you anymore. Let's stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Like, what the fuck? Time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. None of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal that shovel! <laughs> And he does that super awesome, like, high-pitched, creepy laugh. Whoa! Fucking boss health meter in the top right that it's been showing me since the beginning of the game and telling me, that, like, hey, guess what? There's gonna be some fucking bosses going on. Ow! Oh, shit! He can do what I do! Ow, fuck! This is way worse than I usually do with this fight. I promise. Ah, shit! Oh, God. I have, like, three more hits. Fuck this guy. Ah, shit! He can fucking shoot shit out of his shovel at me. What an asshole. Bam! Ah, oh, shit, I thought it was the last hit. I wasn't paying attention. Boosh! Boosh! Fuck you. And the screen goes all epilepsy on me. Thousand points, bitch! 
And he's like, ah, fuck this, I'm out of here. And then it is kind of that old school, old school screen fade out and fade back in. Just camping out. Got a nice roaring fire and I'm just chilling and then... Oh man, okay, tired. I'm just gonna take a nap on this log here. What? Whoa! Whoa, what? It's my girl! It's Shield Knight! What's she doing? Why is she falling? Oh shit! Oh, oh, is this like some sort of crazy dream? No! I gotta catch her! Babe, I love you! Come back to me! And it's like, huh, 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 huh. And yes, I am making that happen. Oh god, I'm vibrating! It's too much! Huh, 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 huh. Oh man. Oh. Oh, jeez. Well, better use my Boy Scout training and put that fire out. That scene happens multiple times throughout the game, and uh, each time the dream sequence has um, enemies in it, and more and more enemies in it as you continue on. And you get an achievement uh, called, like, Only You Can Prevent Forest Fires, or something like that, if you put out the fire after every dream. What? No weapons! We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! That's no weapon, it's just a shovel. You may enter then, and don't forget. Press up to talk to everyone. Well, fine. What's up? You know those glass checkpoints? They're breaking for treasure. But if you do, they stop being checkpoints. And see, these people actually give you useful information about the game. Some knights may look down on your choice of weapon, but between us, I dig it. <laughs> game is fucking full of idiotic shovel puns. I love it. Turkeys and apples can restore your life. Just found this out, so I'm telling everyone. Why are there furries? That odd fellow Chester is selling relics. I'm so tempted to buy some. If you are getting stressed out, try fishing. You never know what you catch. How do I fish? I don't have a fishing rod. I'm not gonna talk to that guy yet. We'll come back to him. Ooh, you've got a pretty face. You should come visit often. How do you know what my face looks like? Hey, I remember you. Where was that red knight you used to hang out with? Oh, thanks for reminding me about my dead girlfriend, asshole. Beware of a lich calling himself the Super Skeleton. His jumping attacks are ferocious. And so all of this is actual information for either the plot or the way the game works. And that's super frickin' cool to me. And it's just like, well, I don't know, fuck all these guys for right now. We'll come back up here and explain some shit later. There's people down here, and blah blah blah. This is where I wanted to go. Hey look, there's a little fucking... The wall looks kind of different. What have we been taught about different looking walls? BOOSH! Another one of those weird music sheets. I still don't know what those do. Hello, fish friend. All hail the Trowful King! Uh, what? You've never heard of the Trowful King? Half trout and half apple, pronounced like mouthful. He's one of the forest gods here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth! Nobody believes me. If you ever visit the sacred grotto, hold your chalice aloft, and the Trowbull King will appear! As it happens, I have been entrusted to sell Trowbull chalices to believers. Would you like one? Yeah, sure, why not? That sounds pretty rad. Get another one for sale? Sure, why not? I'll buy two. Hail! The king of fruit and fish! Long may his stem grow! Some guy mentioned something about fishing, and some dude named Chester. Oh, it's Chester. Hey, blue guy. do believe the merchandise I've got for you today. Why not have a look? Uh, sure. Oh, fishing rod. That guy was talking about fishing. Now I've got a fishing rod. Holy shit! Now I can do this. No, I don't want to fucking talk to you again. Get the fuck out of here. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I can't really fish in the ground. Ah, a new face. Dancers, acolytes, witches, goats, everyone's welcome in here. Ooh, that's Spectre Knight. If someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. Oh, woe is me, the king of nothing. Not to rule, but my lone bar stool. King Knight sits on Pridemore's throne. That gilded goon, he'll get his soon. 
she gives me a bunch of stats and it just takes a while, so I don't want to deal with that. Oh snap, that was a hidden wall. I didn't even talk about it before I did it because that shit's already become second nature to me at this point. It looks pretty lonely down here. Hey. 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 You wanna touch my shovel? Is it, is it comfortable to have my big old helmet horn poking you right in the eye? Am I scratching your nose for you? Does that feel good? Does it feel good? Does it feel good? Anyway. <sighs> I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as it's stranded here. Uh, you know I just opened the door, right? You could just you could just leave. You're not really stranded here. You can just leave. There's there's a ladder, and you can just like you could just go. You're n you're not really stuck here at all. <sighs> Shall we pass the time with a little game? I'll just need a hundred gold first. Yeah, sure. All right. I'll conjure up some things, and you can hit them towards the targets for points. Okay. Whoa. Also, this music is fucking rad, and I love it. Whoa, that's ten points! Holy shit, that was another ten points! God damn, that was another ten points! Jesus, ten points every time! Ah. Whoa, that one fucking exploded everywhere! And believe it or not, this is teaching you about a boss later in the game. This is teaching you about Plague Knight. The Alchemist. Oh shit! Definitely don't want to miss the sparkly ones. Ah, I just missed a sparkly one. Basically guaranteed at least 10 points every time you hit a sparkly one. Relatively certain it's absolutely impossible to hit all of those. Damn, 267, that's not bad. You got 267 points. Well, well, call it be oppressed. Oh shit, she gave me a bunch of money and another one of those fucking music things. I've got so many of those now. Jesus, I've got four of them. Fuck. Anyway. Oh shit, I haven't even talked about the menu screen yet. Hup! Oh yeah. Get up on my whatever. So I got a bunch of music stuff, right? Hey, what's this, what's this go dude doing here? Ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magical health? Or oh, maybe just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help there much? Sure. Oh, only a thousand gold? I can afford that. Now, once I bought that, this guy up here started jumping up and down. He's got a crazy wooden spatula, and there's some fucking meat and, like, a rat. That's... Is that a rat? I think that's a rat. A meal ticket! And it's me. I'll get to work on my best recipe! I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less, so bone appetite and bad in the mess. Fucking love this game. It's it's beautifully written, the graphics are fantastic, just everything about this game is good. Whoop! And then I ate it, and my life went up. What about you? Uh, I don't know, maybe. One more use out of your relics? Oh yes, of course, uh, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. It's 1,500. I don't have enough money. I really want to increase my magic. I've only got 30 max, and I, that use that gets used when I use my fucking thing. I want to be able to use it more. Well, this guy's got a guitar, and I got a bunch of music sheets, right? Hail, traveler! I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lays scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me, and I shall reward you. And so. <laughs> Whoa! You've got four music sheets! Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each! Jesus, that's a lot. Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found Strike the Earth! Ah, uh, ostinato trumplet triplets. Trumplet? I said trumplet, yes. Is there anything you can't render into pure magic? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you at any time, just to ask. So I can talk to him again. Hero of music! What can the humble bard do for you today? Play me a song. So this is all the music sheets I've collected. No weapons here. The local happenstance. Decisive blow. Main theme. Spin ye bottle. So I can go back and listen to any of the music that I've collected. It's so fucking cool, right? 46 different music sheets to collect. God damn, that's a lot. And now he just gave me fucking two grand. So now I can go over to this lady and be like, 
Yeah, I can afford this shit now. Boom! Now I'm up to 40 max magic. But it doesn't refill my magic completely, which kind of makes me sad. So, I'm really not sure how long this video is going to be. I think it's going to probably be one of the longer ones, because I want to play long enough that I can show you a lot of the things that I like. Um, I'm probably going to end up skipping uh, at one point, just so I can show you some other shit later in the game. Maybe not, who knows. Sometimes I like to try and keep these to sort of just the beginning of the game, just kind of give people a taste. You know, I don't want to spoil anything. Oh, snaps! Another music sheet! I could fucking stand on her back. What an asshole. And that guy's dancing and happy because I dug up that dirt pile, which apparently proved that I'm Shovel Knight. Because I guess nobody but Shovel Knight can have a shovel. Wonderful. Let's see. Oh, you found Pastoral. Having my music piped into shopping centers, I suppose it does pay the bills. Now that I have this, I can play it for you at any time. Just now. Just the music is so high energy and the graphics are so fucking classic gaming and I can go boink, 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 boink. Oh shit, oh shit, you don't get to have that. Oh, that lady stole it. Shovel Knight. Many trials await. Don't despair. May each defeat strengthen your resolve. Meet that old witch down in the juice bar? I think she tells fortunes, but she won't talk to me. Is it because you're a fucking horse? Whoa, Trowbel Pond. That guy down there that I bought those chalices from mentioned a Trowbel. Whoa! Yup, he's a big fish trout. Um. Who has awakened me? Mortal, dost thou need aid? I sent a Trowbel chalice. I can fill it with magical eye core. That's pronounced i -core. Choose your i -core wisely. Um, I'm gonna go with the i -core of Renewal. And then I'm gonna go with the i -core of Fortune. Subjects! A new initiate joins us. The ceremony shall commence! And then he does a big happy fish dance. And unfortunately, as far as I know, there's no way to skip this, and... I feel like it goes on maybe a little long, but it's fun, so let's just sit back and enjoy it for now. I feel like whoever designed this scene has to be one of the happiest people alive. <laughs> it's so fucking ridiculous, I love it. And then he fucking hocks a loogie into my chalices. Fare thee well, shoveled knight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. What if I try and fish here? Whee! Bunch of apples and a music sheet. What do you think you're doing, mortal? Oh shit! No, 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 no! I don't want to do this again. So yeah, I just uh, uh, just fished here, and he got real pissed. But I got a music sheet out of it, so I'm gonna go sell it to this dude. Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found a waltz of the Trowbel King. Upon my first recital, the Trowbel King started flapping his fins and said, I'm so happy I could spit. What happened next? I prefer not to talk about it. So he spit all over me. That always just makes me think of that scene from... God, which one was it? I think it was Ace Ventura when nature calls. When he finds that fucking, like, tribe of people who show respect by spitting on each other. So yeah, this is essentially the first real level past the tutorial level, and this is Pride More Keep, the Lair of King Knight. So that guy down in the basement was talking about King Knight being like, oh, he's on Pride More's throne. So I'm probably gonna fight King Knight. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Whoa! You ran right the fuck at me. And those are some fucking vomiting big old... What I'm looking for. 
Why can I not remember what those are called? Cauldrons. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. Could you maybe not? Whoa. That other guy mentioned something about, like, find sparkly spots. So I'm gonna go fish. Whoa! Holy shit, a gold fish! Those were 350 gold! God damn! Jesus criminy! Boy. I'm gonna jump up. Because you gotta gotta, up, gotta gotta get up to get down. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Boing, 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 boing. Fuck you, helicopter rat. Rat copter. Oh, I was hoping there would be gems in there. Yoink! So yeah, um, I guess I haven't really been talking a whole lot about all of the things about this game that remind me of retro games, but... I mean, in this case, do I really have to? <laughs> it's kind of obvious in basically every instance. Oh, oh, I did not know that. Using your, uh, fucking thing gets rid of those dirt piles in one hit. <laughs> hmm. This looks different. Oh, oh shit. That's right, more breakable walls. Gotta remember that. And what that other guy talked about was, you can break these checkpoints. They give you a bunch of fucking extra money. There's actually a challenge, there's a achievement you can get for going through the entire game breaking every single checkpoint. Which means that, in any level you're in, if you die, you go all the way back to the beginning of that level. I hate these guys. They're just kind of tedious to fight. Boing. Do this. Boing! Oh shit! Oh, I thought that one was. Damn it, I keep doing that without meaning to. Keep accidentally using my fishing rod. Uh, I thought there was one up there. And so, um, what that denotes to you is the gem inside the thing um, denotes to you essentially the difficulty level of where you're at. So, the more difficult it is, the more likely you are to die. The more likely you are to die, the more gems you get as a reward for risking that. Which I think is a really, really cool system. And there's this, holy shit, that thing in the wall over there looks just like me. I wonder what'll happen if I go over there. Oh, that was really close, actually. Shwow! Secret wall! Jump! Jump! Boosh. What the hell? Oh, it's Chester. Oh, cause he's in a chest! I get it! The villager out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest you wanna see. Sure. Oh snap! Fire wand. That's very Zelda. Oh man. Shwing. Back out here, ah, uh, snaps. I actually just realized I've been breaking those checkpoints, so I need to be kind of careful to make sure that I don't fucking die. Alrighty then. I'm gonna see if I can get through this whole first level without dying at all. I'm gonna break all the checkpoints. I don't think I've ever done that before in this game, despite the fact that I've beaten it like a dozen times at this point. Like, all, all those save files you saw when I started this video, those weren't even all of the files that I've done. I've deleted some and started over. That's how much I've played this fucking game. Go up. I don't even honestly know if this is the right way to go or if this is the secret area. So I can block attacks with my shovel, I just found that out. So yeah, again, I'm just I'm using stuff that I've already learned to keep exploring. And I mean a lot of this, of course, I know because I've played this game so fucking much and know what all the secrets are. I'm gonna go back there, because I think this is actually the way to the end. Or is this one of the ones where you can go either way? Honestly don't remember. Like that's how much I've played this game, that the secret areas and the correct way to go have kind of blended together at this point. Oh, that one just lets me go above, that's right. Boink. And the nice thing is, is, if you're breaking all the checkpoints, you're getting a lot more gold, and if you're getting a lot more gold, that means you're going to be able to uh, afford your upgrades a lot quicker. 
Ah, ah, damn it. Oh, and he dropped a whole chicken. Boink! Thanks for the health, bro. Oh, and now I'm, like, completely out of magic. Fucking radcopters. Get out of here! So I gotta be really careful around gaps if I'm breaking all the checkpoints, because that's instant death. And if I do die, I'll just fucking, uh skip forward in the video. Oh, damn it. Gotta get up there. Secret up there. Ah, damn it! Move over, you shit! Be where I need you to be. Come on, up! Ah, I need to get up there. There's a secret up there. Ah, screw it, I can miss a secret here and there. But yeah, there's another path up there with a secret at the end. I don't even remember what it is. Ha-ha! <laughs> they just run through each other and die, and I didn't jump over there to get those. Whatever. See, now we can't get past that, so I can just be like, hey, guess what? I'm just not gonna fight you. I'm just gonna go underneath you. Oh shit, I think there was a thing over there on the right, too. See, that was a lot of gems, so I clearly have much more to lose here. Ah, Jesus. That's a fucking part. These radcopters are way more dangerous when there's no floor. As I would assume would be pretty obvious. But I got myself another music sheet and a whole bunch more gems. So what the hell is this? Whoa! I made fucking platforms appear. What the hell? That's cray. Oh, a place I can fish. Oh, so he'll give me a random eye core if I have an open chalice, but both of my chalices are full right now. Timing down. Hup! Hup! This part is actually really difficult. Yes. 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 Oh man, the first time I played this, I died on that part so much. That's not what I meant to do. Actually, wait. Oh no! Can't wait. Oh good. I thought there was a bomb in that one. Alright, back up to full health, full magic. I don't want you fuckers. I keep trying to uh, use up on my fucking right uh, control stick to try and select items like I do in Axiom Verge. So this fucking item makes those guys crazy easy to fight because you just have to find a place to stand that they can't hit you with their fire and then just sit there and fucking throw some shade at them. Might actually be coming up to the end here. Yup, here's the boss. An interloper is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, knave. I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. Like, what the hell, man? Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence! Oh shit. Pulls out his fucking badass scepter and it's fucking boss time. Like, whoa. Maybe even like a boss. I want to see if I can get through this whole fight without getting hit. Probably not. This guy's actually pretty intense. Ah, damn it, I got hit. And he does that, and the fucking confetti hurts you. I hate that attack. Ow! God, that comes down for a while. Ah, Jesus! I was paying attention to the confetti, and I forgot that he does that. Boosh! Eat a dick, King Knight! Feet accomplished, get the point. Oh. So that's probably for doing one level without any checkpoints. Fucking confetti is coming down, like, still hurting me, and then I just die. 
It's like, well, time to start the level over. And I just kind of chill out, take a nap in the forest, and then it fades out. So no dream seat. Ugh, Jesus, sorry about that. No dream sequence for that one. But more gems for me. So yeah, I just ended that level with way more gems than I usually would because I broke all of the checkpoints. And so that little lock disappears. Oh, I'll show you this thing. And this will probably be what I do kind of at the last part. So those are kind of like the uh, kind of like the Hammer Brothers from Mario 3. They're guys that just kind of spawn and bring you into a uh, like a sort of sub-level outside of the main levels where it's just enemies and treasure. Man, fuck off. For once you're in a situation where these green guys are actually kind of a threat. Oh good. I was about to say, if I can get hit during that animation, I'm gonna be kind of mad. Oh, fuck me! I feel like I've died that way literally every time I've played this little level. Ow. And you get kicked out and you gotta go do it again. Luckily, and this is another really cool thing about this game that I haven't been able to show you yet because I haven't died yet at all, um, you can get your shit back. So, you know, it kind of sucks to die, but it's not the worst thing. No. No, damn it! Oh, I fucked that up. Oh, man, I just lost so much money. Oh, son of a bitch. I hate these fucking guys. Why can't you just run into the pit like that guy did in the first level? Fucking douchebags. Ugh. And yeah, if I've already... No, 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 no not losing all of that again. Are you fucking serious? I've never seen them fly that far. Wow. I've legit never seen them do that before. I did not even know that they could. They usually just do their one little dip and then they're done. Wow. Okay. I've lost basically all of the bonus money that I got from destroying those checkpoints. I just lost all of it. Yeah, I did not know they would ever fly that far. I thought they just stuck to their little path and then would leave. But I was mistaken. Cool. So, really? Just... Uh, wow. Yeah, I ended that previous level with like 7,500, and now I have not even 5k. No. Fuck you. And those were the last enemies in the area. Ah, oh, Jesus. So I just wasted a whole bunch of money to show you guys that, so I hope you're fucking happy. It's all your fault. Can we go sell him some shit? Yeah, sure, why not? Cool. Okay, whatever. Ah, oh, man, I'm pissed at myself right now. I just wasted so much money. Whatever, I can buy some more health anyway, and that's almost all of the money that I had. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Give me that meal ticket, baby. Give me that meal. That was some weird green shit that I just ate, and it made me healthier, I guess. This guy was talking about King Knight earlier. King Knight reigns no more? Huzzah! Now I can rule pride more! Hurrah! I can't wait to greet old Plume and Beaky. They probably can't wait to see me. Oh. You mean those big fire-breathing griffin things that I totally killed? <sighs> Ooh. Sorry about that. Yeah, I think he's gonna be a little bit less happy when he realizes that I killed his pets. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, this has been Shovel Knight, and uh, I super love this game. I love fucking everything about it. <coughs> the music is fantastic, the characters are great, the graphics are perfect for the game that it's trying to be, and just everything about this game is super good, and I... I never have a bad time playing this game, and I am going to start up a, uh, a Plague Knight file real quick and uh, just kind of tack that on to the ed end of the video so you guys get kind of a comparison to see how the regular game plays versus how the different mode, and I mean, I would just call it the hard mode, plays. So there's going to be a really sudden jump cut, and boom! I am an alchemist. Yeah, this is happening. Whoa. 
like what? I'm I'm fucking I'm Plague Knight? What the hell kind of crazy shit is this? Oh, the music. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Press start to skip, but I'm not gonna do that. Fuck you. But villainy ran rampant, and in time, even the most stalwart heroes fell. In the absence of champions, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter swept into power. So it's basically the same intro with a couple of things that are different. Unbeknownst to everyone, the, mani the, the maniacal alchemist Plague Knight had plans of his own. He sought nothing less than to co concoct a potion of unlimited power. UNLIMITED POWER! Yeah, that was a fucking Star Wars reference. How about that? A draft so fiendishly potent that nothing he desired would be out of his reach. Wait, is that the chick from the basement? Oh, it totally is! I didn't even notice that before. Each night unknowingly guards a crucial ingredient. Now, the collection must begin. So yeah, it's a whole different story and you play as a completely different character. But you play the same game. Uh-oh, the boss is on his way. We gotta get back to the lab fast! I don't wanna get experimented on. Just hold extra charge and bomb burst out of here. Come on, hurry up. Like, whoa. Time for research. So they just showed me what I can do. Boink. Pew! So yeah, immediately you can see the mechanics are very different. You don't have a f you don't have a melee weapon. You have a fucking you know, a projectile that you can only throw down into the right or down into the left, I suppose. And if you hold X, boosh. You can like rapid fire this shit. These jumps are much lower than shovel knights are, so you basically have to use this jump thing if you're going to get anywhere. And the longer you hold it, the higher you can jump. I think. God, I really wish I could throw those in an upwards direction. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to play this for super long. I just kind of wanted to show you guys, like, what it is and kind of what the differences are and... The main difference is in the jumping. Like, you would think it would be in the attacking, but it's really not. It's the jumping that makes all of the difference in this mode, and it makes it, in in my opinion, much more difficult. I never really got very far in this mode, because I kept just dying. Ooh, health tonic. Full bag of tonics to upgrade your max health. Just open the menu with bit and drink them down. Get health bubble until you fall in battle. Oh. I didn't even remember that. So yeah, it's basically uh, temporary health, really, where, you know, you get it, but then if you if you die, you lose that extra health. But it's going to help keep you from dying. Oh yeah, this is where I died a bunch, because even the simplest, smallest jump is difficult to do in this mode. Oh boy. That almost killed me. Hup! How the hell do I get up there? Eh, fuck it. Oh, snap, I can block your bubbles with that. So he didn't hurt me at all. I don't remember what these green coins do, either. I think I am going to fully go through the first level here, so you can see some of the stages are actually kind of different. And I'm dead. Oh, Jesus. I was really able to use the invincibility frames there to my advantage. I would have been fucked. So yeah, the first level is marginally different, just because it kind of wants to show you, like, these are going to be the kind of obstacles you're going to be encountering as Plague Knight, whereas Shovel Knight it was mostly like enemies and using your bouncing, but you don't have bouncing anymore, you have this weird double jump, but your regular jump also fucking blows. Oh, it's not even until you die, it's, er, wait, yeah, because I can get that health back. 
the like gems and stuff that you're collecting and all that. So you're still gonna need to buy stuff, but then there's also these little green coins that legit I don't remember what those do. It's kind of nice how you can blow up the piles with one bomb. We all know how uncomfortable it is to have piles. I mean, I don't, but you might. So your jump can damage enemies. I mean, it is an explosion. Do I even need this guy? Nope! Fuck you. I'm just gonna say fuck all these guys, because I'm not really gonna bother going up and getting that secret, because I'm not really gonna keep playing this file past the end of this video. Um, oh god, this part right here. There's no bubbles! And then he hits you and you're fucked. That's right, because you gotta shoot down, like, as you're about to land on him. It's nice that they give you a checkpoint right in that room, but I'm never gonna get all that money back. There we go. And again, not really giving a shit about the money here. Oh, and that thing over there is actually a really cool mechanic that's uh, it's actually very Donkey Kong. But yeah, so it was just like, you know, we haven't been enough of an example of a lot of old retro games, so let's, uh, let's add something else that uh, changes up the mechanics a bit and makes it even more like a lot of those old games. Oh, piss. Yeah, this isn't really gonna end well. <laughs> I don't even remember who the boss of this little initial area is. Like, what was I supposed to do? I just didn't have the right angle. This this is what makes this mode so difficult, is just all of the ways you're used to attacking don't work anymore. And that, that just makes it so fucking difficult to control. Get in here. Pew! So yeah, like, having the projectiles is cool, but it's also basically necessary to master it pretty much immediately, or you're gonna die a lot. all that money. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of go through the intro level and just kind of explain what the various differences are and how it plays. I mean, it's... I've made all of them kind of obvious at this point. I really don't know what those green coins do. And... At least in this video, not really going to bother figuring it out. Are you fucking serious? God, his normal jump is so useless. It really sucks. I feel like the enemies hit you a lot farther than they do when you're Shovel Knight, too. Are you f <laughs> I got the money back and then immediately died again. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this mode is so much harder. You just feel more fragile, because enemies... Yeah, uh, enemies definitely hit you farther. Okay, I'm just gonna run away from you. What the hell? Ha okay? shit. Fuck you. Oh, and he moves so weirdly, too. Like, you slide everywhere. It's so difficult to stop. I don't even really see why that was necessary. Like, really? You're just gonna block me at the top of the ladder just to inconvenience me further? But I'm already pretty much playing on hard mode. That's the closest thing this game has to it. Well, I suppose hard mode would really be the no-checkpoint run. 
but I'm gonna finish this first level. Screw the secrets, but I'm gonna finish the level. Oh, wait a minute, if I... Oh, you can only have five of those? Oh, well, might as well use one now. Alright, boss time. Is it Black Knight again? Listen to me, Magicist. I know you're aiding him in his quest for the ultimate potion. Ultimate... What? I haven't seen him since he fled to join the Order in a quarter. Ah, alchemical trickery! You can't fool me. I know he plans to use the potion to beguile you. Wait, me? Are you insinuating... Oh, someone's coming. Oh, it's the panicky pushover. Is winning the Magicist's heart worth betraying your allies? <laughs> what? Where in the world did you hear that? And I know how you plan to gather ingredients. The only thing worse than a deranged alchemist is a traitor. Do what you will with the Order, but none threaten the Enchantress and live. Okay, so it's just Black Knight still. Yeah, but fuck off. This is actually much easier. Wow, that was easy. Holy shit. Wow, 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 fuck you. Yeah, I have a feeling that's a pretty low amount of money to finish this first stage with. Because <laughs> I kept fucking dying. Man, what an asshole. Anyway, so yeah, that's the, uh, that's Plague Knight mode. Um, it's really, really difficult. Um, I mean, I'm sure I could get the hang of it if I took the time to do it, but I, I remember playing this before and I was just really frustrated with, like, everything about this mode. So, I'm gonna stop it here. Um, thank you guys again for watching. Um, this game is fantastic. If you haven't played it and you like retro games and retro style games, I don't honestly think I can recommend another game more highly than this for feeling exactly that, that sense of discovery and adventure and just figuring the game out for yourself without having anything really explicitly spelled out for you. And that's another thing I touched on in Cosmicoria and Axiom Verge in that, at least in the Shovel Knight mode, whenever something bad happens, you're in the process of learning something. You know, you're, you're figuring out how to beat a boss or a specific enemy or like, you know, I have to jump this way and then I have to use this enemy to get over here and all that kind of fun shit. And it's just it's a really good platformer. It's a really good adventure. And just the, the whole game is really amazing. I will say that it also does capture the frustration of a lot of the old games really well. And there are certain parts in this game that are that require a lot of precision in the platforming, and I haven't really been able to show that because it doesn't really happen until the later levels, but there's some bonus levels later on that are just really difficult uh, in certain parts, but I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm kind of bad at a lot of games, but I do adore this game. Like, I give this game an absolute 10 out of 10, no question about it, and I feel like maybe I'm a little bit more fair to a lot of games than certain people are, but that I, I still don't give a lot of games a 10 out of 10. Like, even Axiom Verge, I would put in a 9 tops, even though it's a really fantastic game and another one that I highly recommend. There just are some things about it that, I don't know. I don't know if it's me or if it's my controller or if it is an issue with the game, but there's certain jumps that took me like a friggin' half an hour to make that jump, and it's just so precise, and it just, I don't know. There's certain things about it that kind of irk me a little bit as a gamer, but this game... It's just good. It's so fucking good. And um, I suppose this is a uh, is as good a time as any to tell you guys I am going to be participating again in Extra Life this year. Um, I'll put a link in the description to my donation page. I'm getting an early, early start this year because I'm going to have my uh, same goal as last year of $1,000. And if I do meet that goal, uh, the person who donated the highest amount, and it doesn't have to be in a single donation, it can be across multiple donations, as long as it's all from the same person. Whoever donates the highest total amount gets to pick the color that I dye my hair, and will keep it dyed throughout 
all of 2018. So if you guys want to see me with a crazy hair color and I'll make sure to post pictures and like do a thank you video for uh, Extra Life and I'm going to be doing one for this past year as well. So keep, uh, keep an eye on my channel for that. That'll probably be within the next uh, month or so. I'm going to wait until I get my uh, Silver Hero medal, uh, which I got from this past year as well as 2015 for raising at least 500 bucks. So going to shoot for definitely at least that again this year and thank you for everybody who contributed thank you for everybody who stops by my twitch streams as uh um as rare as those as those have become at this point i'm going to definitely try and be doing that more this year as well and i'll put a link to my twitch page down below too so thank you everybody who uh subscribed to my channel if you like this video leave a like subscribe share all that fun shit um again uh as i said in cosmicoria if you guys have any games uh that you think kind of fit the theme I'm going for in this series of kind of indie games that uh, do things maybe better than AAA games do, uh, you know, specific indie games that kind of keep the uh, spirit and aesthetic of the classic games alive. If there's anything like that that you'd like to see me play on my channel, let me know. Um, it's definitely possible that I already have the game and I'm already planning on playing it and if I don't have it I'll definitely at least look into it and if I can afford it I'll probably give it a shot and put up a video so if, uh, if there's anything you want me to play that uh, kind of fits that theme leave a comment and uh, I'll definitely see if I can get to it so again for probably like the fourth time at the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it if you like this game please go buy it and support the developers Yacht Club Games this game is incredible and the developers are really cool and I love it so thank you guys so much and I hope you have a great 2017